Okay, time to try and put in the countertop and the stove and the sink. Uh, I'm to grab my sink to see how the layout's going to be. Basically, um, the stove I me measured out because the gas line is underneath, obviously. Eight and a half inches, so I got it set. Then I'm just going to mark it after I sharpen my handy dandy pencil. And we cut her out, but I'm going to grab the sink, see how that's going to fit. Yeah, I got the sink out of the house. Uh, I just made it out of, uh, if you haven't seen in my previous video, uh, out of dollar store uh, bowls, stainless steel bowls. But I put two together for extra strength. And then just a normal sink down spout, put her in. It has rubber, but I still siliconed it up anyway. Same with the clamp. And it's going to go through the tabletop here over the top and then down to a drain underneath the van so that'll go in there but yeah it's gonna fit that's gonna fit beside the sink I mean beside the stove because the stove is in position where it's gonna be but I got to cut a hole out I'll do the same thing for the sink and it should work you know if it doesn't we'll figure something out to get uh, to get it working. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll just cut it out there and then we'll carry on with the video. Yeah, I just wanted to mention about the, how I'm gonna pump my water. I got uh, just a rechargeable pump, works very well. You can charge it with USB. It's supposed to go about a, like if you use it on average, it'll last like a month before for recharging. And I got a longer hose because I got to reach from here all the way under to my tank on this side. Got about a, I don't know, 30 gallon tank maybe of water, but which I'll use just for uh, washing, not for drinking. Okay, and then we have this going down, but I'm thinking I'll put the sink out further to the corner as far as possible, just because then the hose will be longer, plus it'll give me some counter space for my cutting board or whatever, and then the stove. You can see I got the stove marked out. I don't know if you can see the line there. I did the same thing with the sink. And also, I may leave the sink up a bit. Upside down, I mean, right side down, obviously. So that this just comes over the lip. What do you think? It's not a big deal, just whether that's up or down. But anyway, I'll get it cut out, then we'll continue on. Okay, we got it cut open. We got the drop-in uh, burn um, stove and the hole cut for the sink. A little bit of problem because it goes right down, but I can't really reach the gas line to hook it up. So if I reach through here, I can kind of push it on. I'm going to take out two screws on the stove, push the uh, gas line in a bit, and see if I can connect it. Because. Uh, Maybe they're expecting you to have a flexible hose, but mine's copper, eh? I can move it a couple inches, but not, not too much. So we'll see how that goes. Kind of hot in here. It's uh, 29 degrees. And I don't have the crank for my vent yet. But have a beer, cool me off a bit. Okay. Let's get to it. And the sink. I'll just take a closer view of the sink here. We got the 12 volt, uh, not 12 volt, but it's rechargeable pump from Amazon. I'll put links in the description. And we're just gonna run the hose down through again and into the, I think I got a 30 gallon storage tank in there. But anyway, stove's looking good, solid. And that's the, um, What kind of stove was this? Oh yeah. Camp Lux. Enjoy the outdoor life. Got a nice little manual. You're probably thinking, hey, my stove doesn't have that. And I'd say, hey, you're wrong. Because I got it right here. I'm going to move the video a bit. I mean, yeah, the camera. But anyway, it goes on. Like a so, look at the. I'm gonna have to screw it with the hinges. There's hinges on there to the deck again. 
can use the counter. But that's pretty handy, eh? And then uh, when you're done using it, it just folds in, da -da -da, goes down, covers nicely, and that's basically another work area. You could put a cutting board on there or whatever while you're preparing. Or if you're making a sandwich or something where you don't need the stove, you've got more room, right? Okay, I'll continue on installing that. I'm just going to put a little silicone around the sink, not too much, not too much because if you've got to do maintenance, you don't want to be fighting with it, right? And it sits pretty solid as it is. So I'll just put a little bit to hold it down nicer and keep water if I have a, have a spill, you know, those type of things. But so far, so good. She's coming along. Whew! Okay, no time like the present. I'm going to test the sink, the drain. I don't have the pump hooked up yet, but uh, let's just dump a little water in, see what happens. She's going down. She's going down. It's draining. But where is it draining? It's going down a little slow, probably because the... Um, maybe the hose is on a bad of angle. I might have to straighten that out a bit. You see it goes out through the hose and you think, well, are you going to drain it in on the ground? And yes, I will, depending where I'm parked. But if I'm parked in a sensitive area, I just pop a bucket down. And drain straight in. And then throw it wherever. I think it'll work. So it just runs up. Don't mind the mess in here. i got to hook up a few more things. That water line is going to run along the top the, for the tap. It's going to feed into the tank. This is a drain line for the water tank if you ever want to drain it. Okay, I'm going to level the table now or the counter and uh, hook up the pump. It's definitely coming along. camping pretty soon maybe next weekend or just a long weekend this weekend I could take it out this weekend even you can see we're at uh, 30 degrees in here pretty hot but uh, country ball can survive so I guess I'll wrap it up for this video yeah the fridge works already putting the furnace uh, covers on there GoPro died on me but as I was saying fridge and uh, stove Gonna put the cover on. I've got the drawers for here. I'm actually gonna stick another plug in in here and then put a panel. So I'll have a plug in there and a plug in there for uh, 120. But that's it for now. Lots to clean up and uh, straighten up. But we'll catch you on the next one. Look at these beautiful flowers my brother's planting. He says he's very masculine, but he sure likes to put out the flowers. And I don't seem to mind either. Oh please, I gotta add a little update. Got the stove in with the splash guard. So to level the table a bit or the bench. Nent up here. That folds down nice. And then the pump hooked to the 20 gallon tank. It's gonna work just fine. And uh the way I mounted that, or I'm going to, is I cut the top off one of those five gallon water jugs. And I'm going to glue it to the bottom here to the counter. And then this just slides on. That way it won't uh, fall anywhere. Over and out. Catch you on the next one.